MBM 307 Automatic Tabletop Paper Folding Machine. Start off by opening the front trays of the machine. Next, take a test page and adjust the table to the paper size. You'll see that adjusting one edge guide will move the other side as well. When it's ready, pull up on the lever on the side of the machine to open the throat and push the pages in. I'll go over the controls at the end of the video, but select the setting and both the top and the bottom trays will adjust to create the correct fold. You'll see that the common folds are labeled. You can also make manual micro adjustments using the wheel at the end of each tray. Now I'll run a test page. Always do a test page before any real project. And it's a good thing I tested it because my fold is not even. In this case, I need to change the skew of the table slightly. To do this, you'll find the adjustment on the feed table. Rotate the knob to angle the entire tray in small increments. The folder also knows when you're using different common sized papers, automatically switching between C1, C2, and C3, from 8.5 by 11 paper to 11 by 17 paper. It knows by where the edge of the guides are set and whether this sensor is covered. You can also remove each folding tray unplug them and fold them out. This can be helpful if you have a jam. It gives you access to the rollers, which you can disengage, or you can simply run the project to potentially shoot out the jam. When putting the trays on, note the two grooves and how they go in. These grooves fit into the black knobs as seen here. And the power switch is hidden at the bottom. You can also adjust the wheels and the exit of the pages for different size projects. It is possible to do a double fold, which I'll show you. First run your project through once. Then when they're all finished, put them back into the feed tray. This time I'm going to add these extra blue guides. The wheels on these help push the folded pages down, so they then insert the machine better. Run it again like normal, and you have a page that is folded twice. Now for the control panel. First you can change the speed. You can also set the number of folds you're going to make. You can do this in increments of ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Next we'll change the fold position for each tray. Push select until the tray light is on. Right now I have the top tray selected. Choose the type of fold you would like to edit, then push the plus or minus buttons to change the position. You can see it changing on the tray. Now do the same for the bottom tray. With the correct fold pattern still selected, now hold the store button to save it and do a test to make sure the fold is what you wanted. 